Corvin Wine Access technology uses a hollow needle to extract wine so you never have to remove the cork again. And for 24 years, there was a secret troll under the San Francisco Bay Bridge that was only seen by bridge workers and boaters. And a new troll will be hidden somewhere on the new bridge. Vsauce, Kevin here. This is Mind Blow. The Nasal Ranger is a field olfactometer that measures odor strength. If you follow me on Twitter, I shared this a few days ago. It takes out the subjectivity of smell and provides a universal odor strength standard using the dilution to threshold method. This is the most commonly used and recognized method of odor scale and is determined by the number of dilutions needed to take the odor out of the air. Sono is a device concept that cancels sounds from the outside when attached to a window. Designed by Rudolf Stefanich, it was nominated for the James Dyson Award and claims that rooms with the device are 10 times quieter than rooms without it. It allows the user several filtering options to have complete silence, to only keep certain noises, so for instance, you can keep the sound of birds chirping in and keep the construction sounds out, or simply change noises to something you enjoy. But the device is not yet ready for production. The Deep Green is underwater renewable energy technology. Created by Monesto and now in practical use in the waters off the coast of Northern Ireland, it converts energy from tidal stream flows into electricity. This system is valuable because tidal currents are highly predictable, and there's minimal visual impact because it's always at least 20 meters below the surface of the water. This catalog of 1,500 criminal mugshots recently sold at auction for $10,000. Researchers at Simon Fraser University have created robots that pay attention to humans. Using cameras and facial detection, the drones are able to see who the human is looking at, and the specific voice commands tell them what to do once they know which one of them is being directed. All of this effort is being made to develop a command system that even an inexperienced user can easily pick up on. The Hairly Top interface is an interactive display that could be used as lifelike fur for robotic pets and toys. It reacts to the changes in light and brightness of the screen, creating movements similar to that of a living thing. And they hope to one day create an entire floor that moves along with changes in light. The device is primarily used with light, but can also be controlled with audio and magnetic sensors. 3D printed human cells could possibly do away with the need for drug testing on animals within the next five years. Bioengineering PhD student Alan Faulkner Jones claims that the new technology can print human stem cells to create micro tissues and micro organs for drug testing. The technology could also allow for drug tests to be personalized by using cells of the specific patient instead of a generic human response. Shreddies are underwear that were designed to stop farts from smelling. So yeah. Inform is a dynamic shape display that lets users interact with digital information. For example, architects can better present their designs from afar using 3D renderings. Developed at MIT, Inform can interact with the physical world, seen here moving around this ball and picking it up with a basket, and they're looking to explore ways to use this in areas ranging from surgical simulations to urban planning. The Light Cloth is an interactive light display of woven fabric made out of optic fibers that allows for computer-controlled light patterns to be displayed. The Light Cloth is also able to receive signals using infrared light such as a pen or a laser pointer, so you can even change the color of someone's clothes on a stage from a distance. This sign language ring won a prestigious Red Dot Award for 2013. Using a set of rings and a bracelet, the system is able to detect sign language motions and translate them to voice that is then emitted by the bracelet. The system is able to be customized to the particular user by pre-recording their signing movements and assigning the appropriate words. Finally, here's the first ever performance of the viola organista, an instrument originally designed by Leonardo da Vinci. I'm gonna leave you with a robot that never loses at rock, paper, scissors. And as always, thanks for watching.